Hi there, this is Ross of Woodfire Power, and it's been a while since I've done any regular posts, and here is why. I've been working on the construction of a new passive solar design aquaponic greenhouse. This greenhouse is designed to have cool air coming in at the lower right and the heated air heading out through thermally actuated vents at the upper left following the spline shape of the rafter pipes. So here's a quick little introductory tour. I'll take you on a walk around and a walk through the interior of the greenhouse. And this is a little bit to enable you to see what I've been working on since I've been posting last. In the future, I'll start doing some more posts and showing details on how to do different things on the construction of this. And I also intend to create a set of plans that you could acquire if you wanted to build one for yourself. Again, this is Ross at Woodfire Power. This particular greenhouse was built to be a small commercial greenhouse and it's capable of producing about 400 heads of lettuce per week. Those can be sold at farmers markets. The same geometry enabling passive solar cooling in the summertime and heating in the wintertime can be had in a smaller scale using the same shape or spline geometry of the roof. And as well, the aquaponic systems inside can be scaled up or down. You could build a larger commercial greenhouse or a smaller personal sized greenhouse. This is the view of the space from the north. And there's a little makeshift lean-to to provide a little bit of shade during the hot summer while it's under construction. little place where I can do some seed starting. Here's the view from the northwestern corner direction. You can see the length, 64 feet east-west and 34 feet depth south to north. Here's the view from due west and you can see the shape of the spline of the roof. And that's the shape of the plastic so the air as it rises from heating in the summertime will run up the film and out the vents at the upper left coming in through misters on the lower right which is the southern edge. This is the view from the southwest corner Looking at the greenhouse from this angle, it's easier to see the shape of the greenhouse and the way the uh, roof pitches down into the ground. The film will open up, so the film will actually not go all the way to the ground. It'll stop short. In the wintertime, it'll seal off to the ground. In the summertime, it'll create like a venturi opening at the bottom with, again, with misters to cool and humidify the air coming in. This is the view from the south and you can see the shape and from this position you can see the straw bale back wall and maybe you can notice the vents at the top of the back wall and some plants along the right hand side of the straw bale wall. This is the view from the southeast corner, or looking toward the southeast corner. And you can again see the shape of the spline in the roof pitch. They're not all secured and exactly in position yet. Um, construction still underway to get things put together in preparation for putting the greenhouse film up. On this end, you can see a couple sheets of insulation, and that's blocking early in the day sunshine from making it underneath the seedling sprouting table that's just behind that insulation. Here's the view from looking from the northeast and you can see it's still pretty much a construction zone over here but you can more easily see the three foot tall by eight foot wide vents that run down the entire length of the greenhouse and that's what will passively allow the air to rise 
convectively inside the greenhouse during the summer months and exit with extremely little airflow resistance and then that um, will create a negative pressure on the interior of the greenhouse and pull fresh air in and it'll come in from the southern edge down near the ground with misters and shade so that it's pre-cooled and humidified. Inside the greenhouse there are three deep water culture tables, one flood drain or ebb flow media table, two lines of beto buckets, and on the far end a seedling sprouting table, and yet to be constructed on this end is the fish raceway, which will be a 20-foot long fish raceway. So there you have it. That's the tour of the greenhouse. Ross at Wood Fire Power.